Hello, so today I'll be talking about Hess's law, which states that the total energy in the chemical reaction is independent of the route taken as long as the initial and final conditions are the same, which this can be represented through a Hess's cycle, which I have drawn over here. So they're basically saying that energy change of this the same as the energy change if of like the intermediates. And we can take advantage of this law to find out the enthalpy change of um, different molecules. So like we're using Hess's cycles for um, covalent molecules are really easy. We only need to use the enthalpy of formations or the enthalpy of um, combustion. So, so for formations, we are saying the enthalpy change from the elements to the different reactants or from the elements to the different products. So the direction of the arrows will be drawn for this Hess cycle as we go upwards. So this is for enthalpy of formation. Um, one easy way to remember this is that, you know, plants form or, you know, grow upwards. So, upwards. The other um, enthalpies we will use is enthalpies of combustion. So, you're going from the reactant to carbon and water or its oxides. So, you are drawing the arrows downwards for this Hesse cycle. And you can find these um, enthalpies in the data booklet. So to remember the direction of the arrows for enthalpies of combustion, so you can remember that like a house, you know, burns downwards. So when we are using this in our calculations, we will have to manipulate um, these enthalpies. So like if there are two moles of reactants, we will have to multiply the um, enthalpy of formation by two. Also, we don't really want both of the atoms to go upwards and both of them to go downwards. We are trying to find um, the total enthalpy over here. So we would have to find the arrows when they go this way. So what we do for um, switching the direction of the arrows, we just simply switch the signs. So if the original like enthalpy of formation here was a positive, we then have to make it a negative to get the right direction of the arrows. This is a bit confusing, so I'll make it a bit clearer when I'm talking about how to solve um, different questions for Hess's cycle. Okay, so here is the first question using enthalpy of formations. Please pause and try to do this, and then I'll go and explain how to do it. Okay, so with enthalpy of formation, you have to remember the arrows will go upwards first. However, as iron is already in its pure element form, we don't have to write um, an enthalpy for that one. So the enthalpy of carbon dioxide is negative 11. We also have to times that by 3. So we have 3 of those. Enthalpy of iron dioxide is negative 2. And then um, enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide negative 2. 394, which we also have to multiply by 30. Negative 1182. And we are trying to find this. So we know this has this law. The enthalpy of formation for the products this way is the same as the enthalpy of formation of this reaction and of this. So what we can write here as the equation plus a two make it easier equals to negative one one eight two minus one one 
So the entropy change is negative 2 to 7 or kilojoules per mole. So yeah, that's how we will use enthal um, Hess's cycle for entropy of formation. Okay, so this is the next question. You're finding the enthalpy of formation of ethane using the enthalpies of combustions of the products and reactants. So please pause the video and try to figure it out yourself. Okay, now I'll talk on how to answer it. So since this enthalpy is of combustion, so you'll remember like a house you burn downwards, therefore combust downwards, so the arrows are downwards. Then for carbon, you can see here it's made of 3, 3.5 times 2. For hydrogen, it's made of 2, 8, 5, 8 times 3. This one is simply made of, let me see, so I'm going to quickly calculate what that is. Minus 7, and then the other one is, is it made So something you might realize is that we don't really have a cycle here, unlike um, the one for uh, enthalpy cell formation. So what we could do is just reverse the signs for what we have drawn here to make it exactly like the ones of enthalpy cell formation. So our equation would be this. Let's name this thing. Formation, entropy of formation um, equals so the entropy of formation of eighteen is six. So the entropy of formation is negative eighty four point. Four kilojoules per mole. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope this clears up any um, uncertainties about enthalpy change and using Hess cycle.